All right. How's everyone going? Uh, today I was gonna do a tutorial on, uh, like, how to get swing on your, on modulation, pretty much. Um, just um, so I've been, I used to use F Expansion Cipher to do this because they actually had swing on the LFOs, and then I just worked out a way to do it in um with serum and you can actually do it with serum effects too um you do it with serum effects if you're not using serum but since we'll make this in serum i'll show you both ways but pretty much here i've got a um it's a drum rhythm pretty simple nothing too crazy going on and here i just got a saw wave it's just getting side chained. I had a pretty crazy side chaining thing going on there. I might explain that at some point. Yeah, so if you want swing on your LFO or on your modulation of so a normal, you know, wob bass would be like that. Something like this. Oh, that's cool, but um, if you actually go in and do something like this, so we can go through now and just whoops, just yeah, there we go. So if I grab another MIDI track and just put the groove in that I'm using, so I'm using this groove. You can do this all by ear, but this is a way to get it uh, exact. So take this in from Serum here. And then we can just loop the section and record. Alright, I might need some more. So I can get this right. So you can tell that one of them is right, but the first one's so it's actually pretty perfect there. So I've just moved this over. You could also make it tighter by doing something like this. So just bring that in. There we go. So now it's lining up, and um, now we can just delete that. So now it'll kind of groove with the swing, even though with this at the moment there's nothing really swinging because everything's there's no um, notes in between here. But here, if I just go through and kind of make this a bit cooler, maybe chuck on a bit of OTT. So now we've got we could also get that to control the the volume there. Um let's grab a saturator to bring the volume up a bit. not really sitting with the beat that well. But yeah, you get the idea. I might also put another saw through. And then, you know, 
you can automate it. Because <clears throat> the first half still... Still, um... If you're just taking half of this, it'll still be fine. Now you can go in and you can um, go into your folder, save shape. Um, yeah, I've already got it saved there, but I'll go swing, LFO, toot. And the cool thing about this is now you can grab, so you grab like an audio track. Um, grab Serum Effects. And open up Let's go twelve. Now we can put some foley kind of stuff in there. So if we go like water, that could work. It's kind of like um, texture. That texture plugin by um, Devious Machines. And I've actually found a real cool way to um, kind of use this is to like take a note with this stuff on top, take a note with this on top and um, put it in a sampler with the automation, then when you, I mean with the modulation, and then when you actually change notes, it'll go faster and slower and it makes real cool textures and stuff. Um, even if we put portal before this, we can do some crazy kind of grain stuff. I just try to find a glitchy maybe. So you play pitch. Obviously you wouldn't want it going the whole time, but maybe just for like Let me think. Yeah, actually I'm not digging portal. Turn that off for now. could change the the length here I mean pretty simple stuff but I really like just chucking on a bunch, so like a bunch of different things and widening it out and gluing it all the layers back together and you get some really cool um, stuff. I made a, um, a 
put it, yeah, this phased noise. We're going here. Maybe it won't go as. Obviously, this is kind of repetitive. Like you put in little fills and stuff, but I thought that was a cool. It's a cool thing to do. Um, I think it was this one. I I used it. Uh, let's delete that. I used it to pretty good effect. It really adds like a nice layer of texture on top of sounds. I I wouldn't leave that bass like that. I'd, I'd probably um re-sample it um yeah I just gotta do this real quick because this instrument always changes there we go so you can hear it all in here That's mainly See this is all all these notes uh in a sampler. I actually resampled a bit of a bass that had a layer of that on top. Just filtered it down a bit. This song was actually meant to be called Take a Bath, but I ended up calling another song Take a Bath, but it's got all these. And that has, um, they all have the same sort of thing going on. Still needs a lot of mixing. I think this is a bit of um probably a bit of width in the low end there that I'll have to get rid of. Anyways, it's not about this track, it's about the idea. So because I always wondered like there's never swing LFOs on on anything else apart from F expansion um, I don't even own the license to this anymore well this is the new one Cypher 2 and um, but you can trial it for 30 minutes and see it has a swing and then I was like wait up you could just fucking do that in Serum so yeah Get some cool sounds out of Cypher. And Cypher too. Anyways, I think I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.